What is up, YouTube? Zach here with Pacific Northwest Fish and Forage. We are actually at the beach today, uh, going for surf perch, the elusive surf perch. Jess has been the only one successful at catching them, but uh, they don't count because they're tiny. Sorry, Jess. I got Jess here today. Say hi. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we're gonna jump out. There's a, we marked a couple spots where the tide, uh, where the the beach is actually pretty low. So when we go out later and the tide's up, we're gonna try those uh, those divots in the sand. But um, until then, we're gonna we're gonna just check out this spot that's over near the cliffs. There's a couple people fishing already, so maybe we'll join them and get some fish. Anyway, stay tuned and hopefully we'll sh we'll show you some fish. We can try up there, we can try down here. Down here. Just start wherever, I guess. Alright, so what we got going on is a very basic high-low rig. We have the about, I'd say, two feet long leader total with a four ounce weight on the bottom, pyramid weight. And then I got the first rig, or first hook set up with a clam neck, and the second rig set up with a gulp camo sandworm. And then that's it. We're gonna go out there, cast out, and see what we got. What? See what was on the... Oh, that's a piece of the netting that I'm too lazy to take off. Hey, look at enemies. Look at that guy. All... See that? It's a weird one. It's got a long neck. Ooh, you squishy. All right, let's go. So the tide's already on its way in. never really fished on this beach before, so I'm worried that it's really shallow right where I am, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Surf fish will come up right at your feet, so we'll just kind of see. Want to try the next spot? Want to try it down there? I'm not getting anything, and no one's getting anything. Did we figure out if we could fit these straight up in the car without folding them? So we'll find out. Just barely. You'll be all up in your face. The dude out here with a fucking trailer. Probably not advise that. That's like a CRV pulling a trailer. They're totally gonna get stuck. CRVs are barely able to pull themselves. Whatever. Oh! That was a huge bite. Did you see that? It was like wham wham! That couldn't have been the waves, that was too much. I was taking pictures! <laughs> Should probably check my bait. You're fishy, 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 fishy. What'd you get? Bring it over here! Yeah, I think so. <laughs> it's either that or a sand dab. It's a sand dab, we keep it. Hold on, you need a picture. Get it sideways to you. I'm trying. There you go. You don't have it next to your face. I don't know how to identify the difference. Cool. Hold on. This is the halibut. The sand dab looks the goddamn same. What's that one? That's what he is. No, down. it's not. No, 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 down that one right there. That's what he He's is. not as that pointy. I think it's a starry, I think it is that starry Sorry, flounder. What's the size limit on those? Can we get a flounder? Hold on. No, no minimum size. Jess caught the first fish of the day. A starry flounder. I'm sorry, buddy. Let's knock you out first. Alright. Jess is not skunked. Why are the de geese going near my line? Get out of here, geese. Get. Back, 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 back. I'm gonna check my bait. I just got a bump. Yeah, a little tiny one. 
Oh, oh yeah. Oh! I don't know if he's there or not. Nope, not at all. Ah, they're here, they're here! <laughs> <laughs> Not skunked. I caught a sculpin. <laughs> Not exactly what I was looking for, but... All right, so we got this flounder today. I've never filleted a flounder before, but it doesn't seem too tough. We're learning together here. Alrighty guys, so it's the next day and we're gonna cook our flounder up. We're gonna keep it pretty simple, just kinda like letting the fish shine through. Uh, just basically, we got butter, parsley, uh, salt, garlic, and a little bit of lemon. And then of course our flounder. So what I'm gonna do, we have the skin still on there, so I'm gonna take the back and just score it a couple times to make sure that it doesn't fold up on itself. So let's get started. Keep this on medium high heat. Get some butter melting in there. A good bit of butter. It help us cook it. Once it starts melting, I'm gonna put some garlic in there. Most of it's gonna be cooked with the skin side down, and then when it's close to being done, I'll flip it so the, the meat side gets a little bit of char on there. Good amount of garlic. I'm not really measuring anything. This should all just kind of be to taste. You want this to just barely start kind of simmering. So I'm going to put my fish skin side down. So now we can get our other spices on here. I have some pink Himalayan salt. Any salt will do. And then the parsley. Barely sprinkle some on there. Oh yeah, look at that. Perfect. So now this is going to get cooked. I'm going to kind of just mix it around a little bit, make sure the butter gets uh, all around it. And wait for it to cook, really. It's a pretty thin, so they shouldn't take too long to cook. that crackle. You can see it's getting more cooked because the, uh, the, the meat's turning opaque on the edges. It smells really good. I want the bottom to just be a little bit brown and crispy. And these are almost completely opaque so I'm going to go ahead and flip them. Yeah, look at that. That's exactly what we want. Just really lightly browned around the edges there. That looks great. I'm going to mix it around to make sure you get a good amount of butter and garlic on them. Now this side doesn't really need too much time since it's directly on, on the meat. And we don't really want to like cook it, cook it. We just want a little bit of like almost like this much brown except on the top. So keep moving it a little bit to make sure the butter is getting all saturated. Ooh, it's like falling apart. Let's take this off gently. Look at that though. That looks that looks great. Lemon. And get 
All right, I'm gonna take a bite. We're done looking at it. Ooh, the skin's actually really, it just falls apart too. So this is without the, uh, the lemon. Yeah, but the skin just separates really nicely. Mmm. Got that really fresh, like, ocean flavor. Not, I don't want to call it fishy, but it's probably what other people would call fishy. But it's just like that really light, like almost how scallops taste. Really good. Okay. And it's really soft. It is a little mushy, I'll say, like, but not bad. It flakes as well. Yeah, it's got that. I really like that fresh ocean flavor. Okay, I'm gonna try a little tiny, tiny bit of lemon. You don't need much lemon. Just like a drop on that bite, and this should really get a good bite to it. Get the whole thing. Oh yeah, that's good. I'm really happy with how it turned out. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed watching us, or at least Jess catch that flounder and us taking it home and cooking it. It's really good, really, really excellent fish. If you get the chance, definitely go out and fish for it too. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share it with your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. Wow, that's so good. Yeah, no, that was great. Good job catching that fish. Let's save the video.